Hi, I'm Katery, and watch Marvel make me a hero. I'm the Associate Managing Editor here at Marvel for Special Projects. We handle all the books that aren't the single monthly issues from the inline trades, but also the masterworks, the epic collections, box sets, all those king-size giant books. It's great to work in collections to be able to bring these books to an audience who might not have had access to them, and being able to just have the actual books, even if it's a reprint, it's still really cool to have. When I got my first job in high school, I went and was able to buy my first actual comic books during Ed Brubaker's Captain America, and just being able to fall in love with Cap and Sharon and Carter, and then just following the storyline through until I got to collections and started buying them in mass. <laughs> I've been thinking of what kind of character I would want to either write or draw or just be in a sort of Marvel world. I actually started with the name. <laughs> I've always liked frogs and I've always been really super interested in um, animals and I've always loved poison dart frogs and so the name Dart just stuck out and created around that. So I'd like my hero to be female, very muscular, especially in the legs for, for jumping. She's a mutant and she has the sort of kind of toxic skin. If someone touches her, they can get either like intoxicated or fully poisoned and perish. I like green and blue. It's probably a little obvious. Bright green to yellow to blue at the bottom or any sort of combination of that with the black spots. Definitely want some sort of cool gloves that make her hands maybe look like frog hands. Maybe she could crawl on walls. <laughs> If she's a mutant, I think that she would also have some sort of goggles to protect her eyes, maybe at night, and just to help her see better in the water when she actually is swimming. She would want a nice little frog pet. She has a connection to them, and so she talks to them, but they probably just croak back. <laughs> she wakes up, makes sure all of her gear is in order. She just gets ready for the day. I think she'd have like a normal office nine to five job, trying to keep to herself maybe a librarian. I think she'd be more of a community-based hero and would answer any call that was given to her. Oh my god. That's so cool. Oh my god. I love her expression. I love the way that the yellow fades to the green. The gradient is like so cool. Blue is mellow, but also very fun. And then the webbed fingers, that's so cool. And the little frogs, especially this dancing one on the bottom is, uh, He's having the time of his life. There's so many ways that bright colors can go wrong, but this is just so bright. And her eyes are just like this bright blue that match her gloves and her boots without being too matchy-matchy, you know? I am so in love with this. <laughs>